This is Tony Henderson Mayers. I am your TV, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur because I own Word Therapy Publishing and Alphabet Theater Workshop. But many of you know me as Wise Courtship because of my book with a three-step system that will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. Today, I want to talk about there is always hope. Always. I know in this world, it seems like things are falling apart. It things seems like there will be no end to the things that are happening in this world. But I'm here to reassure you, darlings, that there is always hope. You know, it may seem like you're not going to make it. It may seem like you're not going to be able to take it. Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. But darlings, there is always hope. There is never a dark tunnel without light in it. There is never a cloud without a silver lining. There is always hope. There is always hope. You know why I know there's always hope? Because there is always, and most emphatically, has always been God. And as long as God sits on the throne, there will be hope. And you know, they say you can live a certain amount of days without water and a certain amount of days without food, but you cannot live one second without hope. Hi, Elder Carmen King. Good to see you. I am here to tell you, darlings, I don't care what you see around you. Don't you look to the left. Don't you look to the right. Yes, be aware. Be proactive. Work hard. Stand up when you need to stand up. But don't ever feel. God cannot bring us back. There is always hope because God, God, the almighty God, sits high and he looks awful low. And sometimes we can get low, can't we? But there is always hope. There is always love. You know, the there, says, where there'll be hope and there'll be faith, there'll be, always, but they'll triumphant. But no matter what it is, darlings, we'll never give up. I know that things seem like it'll never work out. I know it seems like, wow, what is this world coming to? But God has got it all under control. Hi, Jennifer. Good to see you, darling. He has got it all under control. You know, if you put your anchor in something that's strong, that's something that's solid, no matter how much the winds and the waves come, you'll still be there. But if you put your anchor into something that's not solid, you're going, when the winds and the waves come, you're going to be tossed to and fro. But when you put your hope in something that's solid, mm, no matter what happens, no matter how much your money gets funny, no matter how many times your friends turn their backs, no matter what they're doing in the White House, no matter what they're doing in the outhouse, <laughs> you know that God's got this all under control. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't do your part. That doesn't mean that you just pray and you don't do anything. But what it does mean is that ultimately, ultimately, nobody, Nobody has super and ultimate control but God the Father. Why put your fear in man who can only kill the body? Who you really need to fear, fear is the one who can kill the body and the soul. And that is God the Father. So while you are worrying, don't worry. Just pray. <laughs> And then pray and get up and do something. But everything is going to be all right. You know why? Because we win. We always win. <laughs> we always win. Amen. My peace comes from my God's love. Absolutely. And I will say it once and I'll say it twice. Love is an attribute of God. And those who love have God. And those who don't love don't have God. It's plain and as simple as that. Joy. God, peace. <laughs> All of those wonderful things. And it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what you do. When you have love, yes, we need to obey God. Yes, we need to fear Him. But somebody told me way back that you catch more flies with honey than you do vinegar. <laughs> and you know what the honey is? It is love, darling. That's why I teach that thing. That's why I teach about love. That's why I teach about building relationships. And don't you ever feel that a relationship cannot be mended, that God cannot permeate a situation with his love. See, that's where hope comes from. That's where faith comes from. Put it in him. He's able. He got this all under control. We don't know what happens from one day to the next, but he does. 
He absolutely does know. He already knows. He already had it planned out. And so, listen, don't put your hope in your finances because it'll fail. I've had some money in the stock market. I've had some money in real estate. I've had some money here and there. Some goes up and some goes down. The Bible says put your money in seven or eight different things because you don't know what calamity may come upon the earth. Don't you put your hope in what you look like. Solomon says beauty is vain, right? It's all vanity. You put it in, in your degrees. Don't you do that, darling. I've got five of them. And uh, I can tell you that they can fail you. They can fail you right when you need it the most. But if you put your trust in God, don't you put it in your mama and them. Mom may be awfully good, but mom is fragile. She'll pass on. Dad will go on to glory. You got to put your trust and your hope in God. Well, darlings, that's all I have for you. I pray. I pray over each and every one of you that you will come to know the goodness and love of God. How you doing, queen? Good to see you. And you know what? It's not even about religion. Because, you know, as soon as you say God, people start talking about church. They start talking about religion. No, we're talking about a relationship with God. Take it from the queen of relationships to the queen of wisdom, darling. The one relationship you have, it will change everything. Oh, Lord, I froze and made an ugly face. It will change everything. And you know what? When you have a great relationship with God and you know God like that, like you know his character, you say, what? You know, it do look a little scary, but he's got this. He's got it. <laughs> he's got this. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. It's like when my dad would go away and preach a revival. He would say he was going to bring something back. And when he came through the door, I just searched his pockets. I didn't ask. I searched because I believed it was there. And I'm telling you, my father, your father God, he's got this. You don't even have to ask. Just search his pockets because he's got it all under control. A relationship not about religion. Oh, yes. It's never been about religion. It's been about relationship. And if you have any kind of relationship with anybody, it's always been about trust, right? And trust is hope. You have hope. You have trust. You have faith. You know that God will bring you through. So I just, if you wanted to redeem, just say so in the chat box. Say, I have hope in God. If you're watching this replay, say, I have hope in God. It's still, you still have hope. It's all about hope. And hope has never dissipated. You have to grab hold to that. See, it's easy to believe when things are going your way. It's easy to believe when you got money in the bank and you got your health intact. But when you are up against the wall, do you have hope? You can't please him if you don't have faith, if you don't have hope, if you don't have trust. How are you going to please him? You can't please me if you can't trust me. <laughs> and you can't please God if you don't trust him, if you don't hope in him. It'll be okay. You'll see. It's going to all work out. And I'll tell you the end to the story. I usually don't tell the end to the story of my books. But I'll tell you the end to the story of God's book. We win. <laughs> Well, darlings, I've got to go. I've got to go. I pray that this blessed you. And if you are watching it during the replay, why don't you put, I'm watching the replay. Let me know that you stayed, you tuned in. And go ahead and share it with someone. Because someone may be going through a hard time right now. If they're looking at what's going around, people will start jumping off of buildings. People will start checking out of this world. But we need to let them know, you need to have some hope. And your hope needs to be in God. And when you do that, darling, you'll be all right. You'll be able to smile when others are crying. You'll be able to celebrate when others are I've got to go. I've got to go. But I do pray God's blessings over you. I pray God's healing. I pray God's protection over each and every one of you. And if you tuned into this, me and you real cool like that, you know what I'm thinking about each and every one of you. I've been living in what, four, five, five different states, six different states, met all different types of people, lived in all types of cultures and backgrounds. Listen, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. This is Tony Henderson Mayers. Remember darlings, I help you detect a lover worth living with. Goodbye. Oh, you can visit me on the web too at www.wisecourtship.com. Bye.